like to call to order and welcome everybody to October 7th, the 2024 commission meeting. Um, so, um, Ellen, would you please call roll? Commissioner Salmon? Here. Commissioner Barksdale? Here. Commissioner Gatling? Here. Commissioner Townsend? Here. Commissioner Barksdale, you want to listen to our pledge as you getting on these joint roads? I will, sir. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, sir. All right. Um, first thing on the agenda, I'll ask for a motion to approve the minutes from September the 16th. Do I have such a motion? I'll make a motion, Mr. Chairman. Motion by Commissioner Samet. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Townsend. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Samet. Aye. Commissioner Townsend. Aye. Commissioner Barksdale. Aye. Commissioner Gatlin. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Second on here, I'll ask for a motion to approve claims in the amount of one million, I mean three million, one hundred fifty-two thousand four hundred seventy dollars and sixty-five cents. Do I have such a motion? I'll make the motion. Motion by Commissioner Gatlin to have a second. Second. Second by Commissioner Barksdale. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Mr. Gatlin. Aye. Mr. Barksdale. Aye. Mr. Salmon. Aye. Mr. Townsend. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. We have no conflicts of interest as stated in the work session. Public hearing, we have none. Resolutions and orders. We, first one on here, I'll ask for a motion to approve a resolution to allocate ARPA funding for upgrade of the county's emergency response communication system. Do I have such a motion? I'll make a motion, Mr. Chairman. Motion by Commissioner Samet. Do I have a second? Second. Seconded by CSX and, and bingo. <laughs> CSX, I just seconded that. Day. No, second by Commissioner Barksdale. <laughs> Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Mr. Salmon? Aye. Commissioner Barksdale? Aye. Commissioner Gatlin? Aye. Commissioner Townsend? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Second on here, I'll ask for a motion to approve a resolution authorizing the chairman to enter into an agreement with L3 Harris Technologies Incorporated in the amount of $557,343.51 to purchase all radios and accessories listed in the quote um, fund received from the CDBG dash CV grant. Need such motions. Huh? I'll make the motion. Motion by Commissioner Gatlin to have a second. I'll second. Second by Commissioner Townsend. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Gatlin. Aye. Commissioner Townsend. Aye. Commissioner Salmon. Aye. Commissioner Barksdale. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Um, contracts, agreements, and grants. I'll ask for a motion to approve agreement with Architect Services for pre-designed services with AMBL um, Studios Incorporated for the new um, construction of a metal structure to house um, recycling. Do I have such a motion? I'll make a motion. A motion by Commissioner Townsend to have a second. Second it. Second by Commissioner Samet. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Mr. Townsend. Aye. Commissioner Samet. Aye. Commissioner Barksdale. Aye. Commissioner Gallon. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Number two, I'll ask for a motion to approve a contract between the um, Alabama Department of Corrections and the Limestone County Community Corrections for FY 24 and 25 programs. Do I have such a motion? Motion. motion by Commissioner Gatlin to have a second. Second. Second by Commissioner Townsend. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Gatlin. Aye. Commissioner Townsend. Aye. Commissioner Samet. Aye. Commissioner Barksdale. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Number three, I'll ask for a motion to approve um, an uh, Alabama Department of Youth Services agreement grant in this uh, agreement in this grant agreement from fiscal year 24 and 25 in the amount of $47,840. Do I have such a motion? I'll make the motion? Motion by Commissioner Barksdale to have a second. Second it. Second by Commissioner Samet. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Barksdale. Aye. Commissioner Samet. Aye. Commissioner Gatlin. Aye. Commissioner Townsend. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Um, uh, number four, I'll ask for a motion to approve to enter into an um, a written a ordinary document agreement with um, Hound Town, Hound Town Incorporated for adoption software for um, use at the Limestone County Animal Care and Control. Do I have such a motion? I'll make the motion. I'll, I'll go with Commissioner Barksdale with the motion, Commissioner Townsend for the second. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Barksdale? Aye. Commissioner Townsend? Aye. Commissioner Salmon? Aye. Commissioner Gatlin? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. 
Um, number five, I'll ask for a motion to approve to apply for a grant in the amount of $139,000 through a, um, a DECA law enforcement um, traffic study division, safety division, and this is for the purchase of two training simulators and, the, and there is no county match on this, so I have such a motion. I'll make the motion. Motion by Commissioner Gatlin to have a second. Second. Second by Commissioner Townsend. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Gatlin. Aye. Commissioner Townsend. Aye. Commissioner Salmon. Aye. Commissioner Barksdale. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Number six, um, I'll ask for a motion to approve to apply for a quality of life grant for the COA from Mazda Toyota Manufacturing. And this is in the amount of $30,000. There's no county match on this also. Do I have such a motion? I'll make a motion. Motion by Commissioner Townsend. I have a second. Second it. Second by Commissioner Salmon. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Townsend. Aye. Commissioner Salmon. Aye. Commissioner Barksdale. Aye. Commissioner Gatlin. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Um, we have no budget revisions, no board appointments, award of bids. We have one bid to award. Um, anybody get it? I need a motion to approve this bid. I make a motion. Motion by Commissioner Barksdale to have a second. Second. Second by Commissioner Samet. Any discussion with the bid? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Barksdale. Aye. Commissioner Samet. Aye. Commissioner Gatlin. Aye. Commissioner Townsend. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Personnel action, as I stated in the work session, the first three will be taken up in one motion. So I'll ask for a motion to approve to hire um, Mary Ward, Hunter Boyer, and Matthew McNatt as corrections officers, and all of these are effective October the 7th of 24. Do I have such a motion? I make a motion. Motion by Commissioner Barksdale. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Gatlin. Any discussion with anybody? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Barksdale. Aye. Commissioner Gatlin. Aye. Commissioner Salmon. Aye. Commissioner Townsend. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. And also in work session, we elected to take the uh, four through six up in one motion. So I'll ask for a motion to approve to uh, the job description for the animal services, the animal license vet technician, and the kennel workers. Do I have such a motion? I'll make a motion. I'll go with Commissioner Barksdale for a motion. And should you second, or second, town, second by Commissioner Townsend? Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Barksdale. Aye. Commissioner Townsend. Aye. Commissioner Salmon. Aye. Commissioner Gatlin. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. And also, we took number seven and eight up in one. So I'll ask for a motion to approve to hire William Newman and Chad Green as kennel techs. And this both be effective um, September the 25th, retroactive 2024. Do I have such a motion? I'll make the motion. Motion by Commissioner Gatlin to have a second. Second. Second by Commissioner Townsend. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Gatlin. Aye. Commissioner Townsend. Aye. Commissioner Salmon. Aye. Commissioner Barksdale. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Number nine, I'll ask for a motion to approve to transfer Vanessa Yates from building service worker to Kennel Tech. Um, this will be effective the 25th also. Do I have such a motion? I'll make a motion. A motion um, by Commissioner Samet. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Barksdale. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Salmon. Aye. Commissioner Barksdale. Aye. Commissioner Gatlin. Aye. Commissioner Townsend. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Number 10, I'll ask for a motion to promote um, Christy Perry from Archivist to Animal um, to Shelter Director to have such a motion. I make a motion. A motion by Commissioner um, Barksdale to have a second. Second it. Second by Commissioner Samet. Mm -hmm. And this is also, this is on the 23rd. We're in any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Barksdale. Aye. Commissioner Samet. Aye. Commissioner Gatlin. Aye. Commissioner Townsend. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Drew, I ain't done something wrong over here. Have you over scratching any worms? No. Over no, no. <laughs> you know, no, Mr. Hey, Chairman. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when an attorney goes to scratching over there, you don't know what to do wrong. I make sure I didn't do something wrong now. All right. Moving on. Number 11. Um, um, I'll ask for a motion to approve Tim and Thurman as a um, Veterinarian tech, and this will be effective October 1st. Do I have such a motion? I'll make a motion. Motion by Commissioner Townsend to have a second. Second. Second by Commissioner Gatlin. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Townsend. Aye. Commissioner Gatlin. Aye. Commissioner Salmon. Aye. Commissioner Barksdale. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Number 12, I'll ask for a motion to approve to transfer Allison Smith from appraisal clerk to revenue clerk, and this will be effective September 18th. Do I have such a motion? I'll, I'll make, make a motion. motion. Second. All right, I'll go a motion with Commissioner Salmon. I'll go second with Commissioner Gatlin. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Salmon. Aye. Commissioner Gatlin. Aye. Commissioner Barksdale. Aye. Commissioner Townsend. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Number 13, I'll ask 
for a motion to approve to transfer um, Heather um, Daniel from revenue clerk to appraisal clerk, and this is uh, the September 18th auto to have such a motion. I'll make a motion. Motion by Commissioner Townsend to have a second. Second. Second by Commissioner Samet. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Townsend. Aye. Commissioner Samet. Aye. Commissioner Barksdale. Aye. Commissioner Gatlin. Aye. The motion carries unanimously, and then on 14, I'll ask to motion to approve to transfer Abby Crutcher from revenue clerk to appraisal clerk. We ought to have done some of these together then. And this will be September the 18th also. I'll make a motion. Motion by Commissioner Samet. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Barksdale. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Samet. Aye. Commissioner Barksdale. Aye. Commissioner Gatlin. Aye. Commissioner Townsend. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Number 15. I'll ask for a motion to approve to transfer Alan Griffin from Community Corrections Case Manager to Archivist, and this will be effective October the 7th of 24. Do I have such a motion? I'll make a motion. A motion by Commissioner um, Townsend to have a second. Second. Second by Commissioner, um, I'll go Commissioner Salmon. I think he spoke first over there. Right, Get y'all some box of gloves. Let's all solve this out. <laughs> um, any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Townsend. Aye. Commissioner Salmon. Aye. Commissioner Barksdale. Aye. Commissioner Gatlin. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. And number 16 is number 18 on my paper, so I'm skipping down to number 18, which is 16 for y'all. I'll ask for a motion to approve to hire Joseph Liskin as a case manager at the um, Limestone Community Corrections, and this will be effective October 15th. Do I have such a motion? I'll make the motion. Motion by Commissioner Gatlin to have second. a second. Second by Commissioner Barksdale. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Gatlin. Aye. Commissioner Barksdale. Aye. Commissioner Salmon. Aye. Commissioner Townsend. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. All right, number 17, I'll ask for a motion to approve to hire Demetrius Jones as a building service worker, and this will be effective October 15th. Do I have such a motion? I'll make a motion. Motion by Commissioner Barksdale to have a second. Second. Second by Commissioner Townsend. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Mr. Barksdale. Aye. Mr. Townsend. Aye. Mr. Samet. Aye. Mr. Gatlin. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. And then number 18, which I'll ask for a motion to approve to hire Gregory Pack as a solid waste truck driver, and this will be effective September the 9th of 24. Do I have such a motion? I'll make the motion. Second. I'll go with the motion with Commissioner Gatlin, a second with Commissioner Barksdale. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Gatlin? Aye. Commissioner Barksdale? Aye. Commissioner Salmon? Aye. Commissioner Townsend? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. <coughs> Merit increases, we have several listed below here, so I'll ask for a motion to approve the merit increases as listed. I'll make the motion. I'll second. All right, we've got Commissioner Gatlin with a motion. We've got a second with Commissioner Townsend. Any discussion with anybody? <coughs> no discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Gatlin. Aye. Commissioner Townsend. Aye. Commissioner Salmon. Aye. Commissioner Barksdale. Aye. Motion carries unanimously at this point. Mr. Massey. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. We've got um, six subdivisions for your consideration today. Um, and I was able to meet uh, with some of the parties that are at, representing adjacent properties, and um, they they did they did understand uh, the work that was being done, didn't have any further objection. Um, Barry and Anita side subdivision. This is minor for preliminary and final, creating two lots in District Four. The Davis Estate subdivision. This is a minor for preliminary and final, creating three lots in District Three. Uh, Gales West Phase Two. This is a major for preliminary, creating 36 lots in District One. Uh, Chapel Landing Phase 2, this is a major for preliminary, uh, creating 27 lots in District 2. Autumn Woods Phase 1, uh, this is a major for final approval, creating 42 lots in District 2. And Madison Preserve Phase 2, this is a major for final approval, creating 120 lots in District 3. All right. So I, I'll ask for a motion to approve the subdivision as submitted by the engineer, Mr. Massey. I'll make a motion. Motion by Commissioner Barksdale to have a second. Second. Second by Commissioner Samet. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Barksdale. Aye. Commissioner Samet. Aye. Commissioner Gatlin. Aye. Commissioner Townsend. Motion carries unanimously. Other business. I'll ask for a motion to approve to transfer the following item from inventory from IT to the sheriff's office, which is a laptop. Do I have such a motion? I'll make a motion. Second. Motion by Commissioner Townsend, second by Commissioner Gatlin. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Townsend. Aye. Commissioner Gatlin. Aye. Commissioner Samet. Aye. Commissioner Barksdale. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Um, so next on here, I'll ask for a motion to remove the following from inventory. 
to be sold on GovDeals, which I'm from a council agent, and it, which is a 2014 Ford bus. So I'll ask for a motion. I'll make a motion, Mr. Chairman. Second. Second by Commissioner Samet. Second. Second by Commissioner Barksdale. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Samet? Aye. Commissioner Barksdale? Aye. Commissioner Gatlin? Aye. Mr. Townsend? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. And we have no executive session. Report of officers. Commissioner Samet. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, our October one's come. Our paving season's pretty well winding up. I think we did a. I think we paved more roads this year than than has ever been paved in <coughs> Limestone County, uh, due to monies that that Mark and his group had had worked to get us, and uh, you could really tell it. You know, it's really made a difference. Just wish we had enough to cover all of them. You know, but it is what it is, and uh, so we're we're starting our strip patching now. Uh, so ask folks to watch out for that. That's going to be kind of aggravating because uh, the ice damage in February is what we're fixing. So it's scattered all over the district, and uh, it's not just. It's a little here and a little little there, and uh, it's going to be loose gravel prob in some cases for a while. We'll try to keep as much uh, tightened as we can because of traffic. You know, we can't just go in and fix it like it really needs to be fixed, but uh, you just have to work sometimes around the traffic. And uh, I want to mention Highway 251. <coughs> uh, I want you to watch out going through Highway 251 because they've got their uh, their chip ceiling now. They're going to put a scrub surface on it and then come back with another layer. I think is is that not the? It's a mic what they call a micro surface. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a it's a it is a, it's not a typical asphalt layer like what we what we usually see, but it okay. it, it looks it will looking right like that. Regardless, there's going to be a lot of loose gravel, so I ask folks to really slow down through that area. I mean, it's, that old tar will make it pick that gravel up, and and you know what that does to windshields. But uh, but anyway, just bear with those folks working, and uh, just be careful through that area, and please slow down. That's all I have, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Commissioner Sammy. Commissioner Barksdale. I hadn't spoke on roads for a while, Mr. Chairman. I'll just add a little to uh, what Darrell said. You know, Mark and I, early on, when I got in office, we were at our seminar, and, and we were just talking to a guy about paving roads, and we said, how much would, should we be spending on roads every year? And the guy told us $6,000 a mile. Is that right, Mark? You uh, yeah, that? I think I think what the, what they were saying was so that per year. We've got about eleven hundred what fifty miles of road, so that tallies out somewhere around seven million dollars a year is what we need spending on roads. And then I got to figuring up, well, uh, it costs a hundred thousand dollars a mile to pave pave a mile of road. So we've got eleven hundred and something. So if we want to pave our roads every twenty years we need to be spending about $7 million a year on roads. Now that's not counting intersection improvements, widening roads, any other things you had, that's paving roads. So we're about half of that. So the last two years we have spent the money on roads that we should be spending every year. So some way we've got to come up with some additional road money. That's my speech for today, Mr. Chairman. You want to pass the hat? Pass the hat. Okay. I can get me a sign. We'll work. We'll work for road funds. <laughs> we'll work for road funds. It's All tough. Right. Roads take the last priority, yeah. don't they? Yeah. They seem to. Mr. Gallagher. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Like the rest of the guys, we've got several projects we're trying to get finished up for the year. Got contractors doing Ingham Road. They should finish Ingham, I think, probably tomorrow. We've got a, a portion of Shaw Road's got to be done, and also Popper Point Road. Uh, we've got to finish those up before the weather turns on us and still just clipping roadsides. So watch the tractors if you had it. We should be getting close to Highway 31 today, I would think, and moving to the eastern side of the county. We are fourth time across the district. 
for cutting roadsides, so we'll be ripping out up also. So, other than that, that's all I got, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Gather. Commissioner Townsend. Uh, our district is uh, Bush Ogden. Uh, we, we're trying to get that knocked out. Uh, we're, we've made a good headway on it. We still like a good bit, but we're working on that. I want to take a second, and I want to thank each one of y'all on, on the animal shelter. Uh, and I want to thank the maintenance department and our litter patrol, you name it. The whole, the whole county kind of stepped up on this animal shelter and really worked hard to get this thing up and going. And uh, it, was a, it was a lot of work, but we, we got it up and going, and I think it's going to be a huge success. And, uh, but, you know, it's, it's going to be, be roads till we get that front building going. But I think we're getting close on the front building, having it where we can move into it. So that's going to help a lot. So, but I want to thank each and every one of y'all for that. Uh, our Veterans Day Parade, we had a flyer up here. Everybody remember to sign up for the Veterans Day Parade on November the 11th at 11 o'clock. And uh, be a part of that. That's a good organization there that's, that's taking care of that. So uh, other than that, that's all I got. Thank you, sir. Um, you know, just kind of, you know, echo what these guys have done. You know, we have a, you know, the old saying goes, one of us can't do nothing, but we can all do it all together. And, I mean, we all work together hard every day. Um, you know, I was just looking back, you know, where in the past, um, you know, three, you know, four, five years, we have started a recycling program. We've started a trash program. We're Now we're starting animal service. Um, you know, we, uh, the county has, you know, worked hard to get where we're at, and I mean, it's all thanks to these four guys sitting right here with me. I know a lot of times they don't get the credit they deserve, but, you know, they work, I mean, you know, it's, I can pick up, I mean, I call uh, Derek, wrote down, took out animal cages, I call, you know, District 4, District 1, District 2, I mean, Dennis and his guys to Birmingham with us the other day, I mean, it's, uh, we all drop what we're doing, we do so much more than just what they do in their district, they do something for this county wide, and that's something that all four of these guys, they may represent a little area of the county, but they work hard for, you know, all three of these projects are a county wide project, and all four of these guys is what's made these projects happen, so I want to thank them for what they do. Um, Today is World Cotton Day. I mean, that was the world, you know, and I mean, and yesterday was kind of a, you know, heart day for us. We, you know, went down to South Alabama, we started picking cotton, and um, my son had lost his life. That was his love, and it was hard, but, you know, every day you look and there's something that happens, you know, and my little granddaughter played in that cotton yesterday, and it was just amazing to watch, you know, I saw so much of him and her, so that was a, yesterday was a good day. So, um, anyways, we're wearing, I'm wearing pink for breast cancer today. Um, like I said, uh, we support that effort in trying to find a cure. Um, you know, I, I, I encourage all women to get checked early. You know, I mean, that's what they say is early checks is one of those things. And, um, you know, so my, you know, my wife is a, she's a cancer survivor, but it's not a breast cancer. She had melanoma cancer, but, um, you know, early detection is the big key. And, um, you know, like I said, we've got a couple in our office, Emily and Ellen, both that have survived it but um keep Steve McKinnon any prayers he's he on he has my position in Dale County his wife passed away to cancer last night or early this morning so um you know she's fought a hard battle and um there's a couple of commissioners throughout the state that's wife are fighting also battle too so you know keep them any prayers um we have um everything everything is going good at the animal shelter I want to thank like I said these guys um I know it's a uh, it's a lot. Go they they go home at night thinking about it. So this is not a forty hour week job. We all go home at night working thinking about these things. So, so with all that said, we will. Ad I will. One of the thing is my family is growing. We're going to have a grandson here, and we're supposed to have him today and uh, everything. Uh, but they have put her off for a little while. She is thirty eight weeks pregnant. Going to have a C section. But they have said they're going to try to go next Monday. So I was fishing. To, I was rushing trying to get out of here, and I got a text saying we're going to wait till next Monday. So I'm. Um, so we're going to have a little bouncy grandson so with the class as he says there's a time for everything to be born so that's uh you know it helps with the healing process so um with all this we um looking forward to that so we will adjourn until 9 a.m on monday october the 21st right here where we're at thank everybody for being here today